In this sum, it is resting on one of its base edge on HP, and the triangular face containing that base edge appears as an isosceles triangle of base 40 and height 40, altitude 40. So what we will do? First we will draw resting on its base edge. So that means top view will give you two shape to draw square in top view. It is resting on one of its base edge on HP. Now after this, if you see, they haven't given any information about stage 2. They want that one of the triangular surface which is containing the base edge appears as an elevation as an isosceles triangle. So if you see base edge which is P dash C dash, this is the base edge and this is the triangular surface which appears as an isosceles triangle, right? And we already have base 40. So what we will do, we will take this length, right? We will take O dash to B dash C dash and we will tilt in a such a fashion that it will be 40. Now, see, that now if you see in this case, the triangular face containing that base edge appears uh, isosceles triangle in front view, in elevation. That means they are talking about this right now. Then in final stage, you will be able to see base 40 and altitude 40. So what we are doing, we are taking that altitude 40 and we are using it for the second stage. Have you understood this? Because they want isosceles triangle in the last stage. Now suppose if I am drawing, open okay, here. Right? So this is the height 40. So what I am doing, I am using this height 40. Currently, I will use this height 40. Right? I will draw 40. I will mark b dash c dash, I will take b dash c dash to o dash, I will cut it on this, then again I will redraw, this is o dash, a dash, b dash, m dash, I will extend this down, we will see from, observer will see from the top, this is b, a, b, c, boundary will be dark. When you see from the top, an observer will see from the top, he can't see BC. So that will be dotted. O to D and O to A will be dotted. Sorry, O to D and O to A will be dark. Only BC will be dotted because you can't see this. Now, they want to see this surface in elevation, right? So right now it is over here. If you see in top view, it's over here. So what we will do, we will rotate this 90 degree towards the observer. So we will draw this into the same moving arm. We will draw line. We will take AD. Now I will project AB from here, CD from here, AD from here, so this is A dash. See this A from here, A dash from here, A dash. This is D dash, B dash, C dash. And I will project O from here and O dash from here. So I will get O dash. Now we will draw boundary line. Now see when you see from here, which one is nearer to you? BC is nearer to you, right? And AD, AD is away from you. O to B and O to C will be nearer to you than compared to OA and OAD. So we can draw O dash, B dash. 
we can draw o dash b dash and o dash c dash. So this is the triangular phase. What 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 we were talking about? Base 40, height 40. This is the triangular phase. B C O, which will appear as an isosceles triangle in elevation. So for this, we took height 40. So whatever we got in top view, we rotated by 90 degree. So observer can see. So observer can see this part. That is the isosceles triangle of base 40 and altitude 40. And this a dash d dash will be plotted. 